All right. <clears throat> Today what I'm going to do is I have these two specimens I picked up on the weekend. They're golden quartz. You can see the size of this one. It's going to be a killer piece. I'm going to weigh these dry, which means that I basically just put them on the scale. You can see here I have a coat hanger with a string and elastic band, and I have a pail of water below. And that's because to do specific gravity tests, you weigh the specimen in air or dry, and then you weigh it wet, submerged. So we're at zero. What do you guys think this one weighs? You can see the amount of quartz. It's a lot heavier than it looks when you actually hold this one in your hand. So let's stick it on the scale. 103 grams. 103 dry. 76.7 dry. 76.7 dry. What I do is I I take the elastic band and I wrap it around the specimen. So I wrap it around the specimen and then that will allow me to submerge it in the pail of water below. 62.8, pull that specimen out, do the same thing with this one, And this one is 89.5. You can see how this looks. You can see that it's suspended in the water, completely submerged. And now we'll do the math. All right, so now we'll do the math. The specific gravity test works based on knowing that one cubic centimeter of distilled water at four degrees Celsius weighs one gram exactly. So we take the 103 dry weight, we multiply that by 1.9, 195.7. We take the 76.7, multiply that by 1.9, 145.73. And then what we do is we use a different formula for the wet weight, so it's 89.5 grams as weighed under water times 3.1 equals 277.45 62.6 times 3.1 equals 194.06 and then we subtract the small number from the big number and that gives us the amount of gold so on the first one 277 0.45 minus 195.7 is 81.75 grams of gold <clears throat> in the first one 194.06 minus 145.73 is 48.33 grams in the other one this test is about 95% accurate. It's close enough for what we're doing here. I am going to remove a lot of the rock, not all of it, but that's how you determine the gold content of quartz and gold specimens. This